This is Linda Ryder. I am the Senior Instructional Designer at Hudson Valley Community College, and this is our beautiful landing page. We have uh, limited what we have available to our campus landing page to things that are system-wide. So things that everybody who, regardless of what course they're in, they would probably need to find. So obviously the library, uh, because I'm a system administrator, you're seeing users discover things that my, um, let me go in as a faculty member and you'll see what that looks like to faculty. Uh, well, here's a student. Um, <clears throat> as a student, you can see there's Discover for Orgs, there's the library, Hudson Valley Tools, we have the webmail, Office 365, um, our UJA video platform for faculty and staff. We have that Aleutian product, my HVCC, a system check, uh, accommodations, direct access, uh, the help desk, and some a direct link to Brightspace resources um, for students, um, essentially the same thing. So now I'm going to go into one of our templates. In our template semester, we have template for each of the modalities. The templates we'll be talking about this week uh, here at the summit. Um, they're all basically have a full, I'll bring you into the content. They all basically have a full course information section that with each has a deconstructed syllabus. We feel very strongly about that with a full schedule, which we also feel strongly about and addresses some concerns raised by students on the panel today where they know exactly what's coming up and there's a regular rhythm. Um, this can be used to build uh, fully online or we also have one for web enhancing, for hybrid and for uh, remote. And so I am going to take you into my modern art history course. And I will show you um, some more ways that we can use that. So in our modern art history course, again, the course information, one of the things that happens is at the last minute, I might suddenly discover that I am teaching this online or hybrid or web enhanced face to face, in which case my full schedule is also set up so they know what's homework, what's classwork, what's self-instruction if it's hybrid. And this is easily modified for partially online, fully online, face to face. Um, discussion boards become uh, posts before they come to class and then we would pick it up in class. So that actually is a nice layout for them and they know exactly what to expect. Let me show you the, our course homepage, our landing page. Basically, we use the visual table of contents. Students are quite enamored of the progress bar, the uh, slim widget for the announcements. Uh, what we're finding is things that we would sometimes put into an announcement, like a feedback on a particular assignment to everybody in class that actually can be done in the group feedback in the grade book uh, itself, which is a place that are going to see it. Um, we have the gradable activities and obviously content in home, <clears throat> um, their grades, and then we've listed course tools or things that both faculty and student might use. And so that would be Zoom, Uja, rubrics, they can see those, any lockers, the groups, glossary, um, their classmates, their awards, if we're using any badges. The students won't see the managed course. These are all things that only the instructor can see. And that's that's the story.